Okay, so what I want to do here is I'm going to show how to create uh, a scoop like this. I think there's actually a tutorial out there. It might be a little bit different than the one I'm going to show you. Uh, it might be somewhat similar also, I think. But anyway, uh, I've got a couple of these different tutorials I want to go through. So we're going to start off here. So let's do this. Let's do File, New, Discharge. Okay, so, okay, let's start by creating a couple freeform splines here. Turn the grid snap on. Okay, take this one and we're going to copy it and paste it and rotate it. So we have two of them. Take that and we'll do a quick sweep. Let's choose that and now we have that. Let's delete these and do uh, sweep. Sorry. Try it again. Sweep. And done, and then bleed these. Okay, now let's take this, rotate it up 95. Uh, that's right, turn off grid snap. There we go. And turn on straight snap. There you go, it's 90 degrees. Okay, okay, that's good. Now let's go ahead and let's put the grid snap back on. Let's get a rectangle from the center. Start right here. And let's make the vent something like about this big right here. Select that and we're going to go ahead over here and say uh, fillet it and we'll select these two corners to fill it say done and the radius will be 15 okay let's do it 12 and we're done with that so here's our filleted rectangle so we'll take that and we're going to trim our main surface with the rectangle and I'm going to delete, delete my original one. So now I've got these two surfaces here. So next thing I want to do is I want to take this particular surface and I want to uh, show the points of that. So you can see it's really, for this little area, it's got this whole big uh, kind of a matrix of points, reshape points. So I'm going to use a script called uh, um, Shrink Trim Surface, which shrinks that all to that spot, which is exactly what we want. So once we have this, uh, you can see that uh, now all we need to do is is uh, take it backwards. So I'm going to go up here, grab these, and I'm going to just move these back. So you can see now that that uh, actually let's move them back. Uh, let's turn off the grid snap. Hold the X key down. Oops, I'm, I'm sorry, Option key down, and it turns all the so I want to make sure that I'm still pretty much tangential there. So that's that looks pretty good right there. So once I've got that done, now I can come over here and I can say, okay, uh, I need to. I just need to uh, take all of this, all of these points here, and I need to shrink just in this uh, this side, just a tad. That's like about that much. There we go. So now that I've shrunk that, let's turn off the grid snap and the straight snap. Okay, so I don't want, I need there to be a little gap up here and a little gap down in here. Um, I can also, yeah, well that's, that's going to work fine. So then when, once I've got that done, uh, then I'm going to basically grab these and I'm going to shrink them a little bit more like in this direction. Deselect and just grab these last ones and shrink them a little more in that direction and maybe move them over a little bit too. Oops. There we are. There we go. Okay, and then yeah, if I move them over, just grab them and move them. Here we go. Straight, keep them straight. There we go. Okay, that looks good. So we got that done. We can see what it looks like. Let's turn off the uh, show points. Let's look in here so we can see that we're pretty tangent all the way across this surface is tangent right there. Now that that's done, uh, let's go back and select parts that we're going to want to blend together. Take these and then we get this one. And we hit the blend button. There we are. And look at that. We should be good. Say done. And if I show this oops let's, so let's just show just the surfaces on here and you can see how perfect that is so 
that's our that's our little model for the day and I can select all and join them join the surfaces okay and again there you go selected and joined it so that's that's the little scoop the little uh, scoop detail that uh, can be used for any kind of surface that you want to create uh, some interest on so hope you enjoyed it thanks okay one thing I notice is that if I look at this um, surface here uh, that after I've joined it and I hit the end key to show the naked edges you'll see that I have a naked edge here which means that this can never be turned into a solid so the way I'm going to fix that is I'm going to zoom way up on here I mean it's going to be way up and turn a little sideways and you'll see that there is in fact just a little gap so I'm going to select this each one of these there's four of these segments there's one there's three there and we'll scroll all the way down okay get the way down here get this bottom one four is four and then I'll go over here and I'll hit this word this network and say done and then let's zoom out okay okay and then we can hit the uh, uh, join select them all and join them and now if I hit the end key for show naked edges you see that that's gone so that's a real that's a good surface so I can do some things like I should be able to do some uh, create a, eventually create a solid out of it.